Your Voice of the Valley, AM 1450, KBMW. Turner Blob is here welcoming everyone to our first ever segment of what we hope are many segments for the Athlete Spotlights here on KBMW. This segment is brought to you by Snap Fitness. Whether you are an athlete or just someone who wants to whip themselves back into shape, maybe like yours truly, make sure you give Snap Fitness in Wapaton a call. They've got all the best equipment, and it's the best environment to work out in the Twin Towns, in my opinion. If you're interested in a membership and want to learn prices or, or any deals they might have going on, call 701-672-7627. That is 701-672-7627. Now to dive into this segment, we have a familiar voice with us, Jack Johnson. Welcome back on the air, Jack. Thank you for having me. It's been a minute since you were one of our on-air personalities as part of the after-school show with Jack and Ashton. Hope you're comfortable doing this interview without Ashton by your side. It's scary by myself, but it's <laughs> going to be fun. I'm sure you miss him very much right now. I do, I do. Well, you're all wrapped up with high school, and we haven't really had a chance to talk hoops since you got done. So uh, let's loop back to that. Uh, how fun was it to be able to uh, kind of lead the squad this year and show everyone what you, you yourself are capable of at the varsity level? It was really fun. It was definitely different. Like I was always kind of like the leader on what team I was on, like JV level, um, sophomore and junior year. I was one of the top guys with with my buddies there too. But then it was like our same team went up to the senior or the varsity level as well. So it was really fun, and and it's much different. Like varsity is a whole nother level. Mm-hmm. So it's fun though. Got to share the MVP award with your boy Colin Roberts. All right, be honest with me now. Did you want that all for yourself, or were you okay with sharing it with Colin? I know I, you guys have uh, hooped together for a long time, so I'm, I'm sure you probably didn't mind too much. I'm completely fine with that. Colin's <laughs> my boy, like especially on the basketball court. You saw how many charges that dude took oh, this year. Oh, Mr. Mr. Char- Sir Charge. Yeah. I, I would be calling him during the games. Had to be a record or something. I, like. I, it had to have been. The only person I know that would maybe compete with that just a little bit is Jake Allen. He was uh, the Mr. Charge taker back when my older brother played, but I don't think he came close to how many Colin took. They got to keep track of that somehow. Looks like you've been dabbling in another sport recently, I've seen, at the ripe old age of, what are you, 18? 18. 18. <laughs> Not a bad time to get your first hole-in-one. Okay, did you go in and drop it in the hole like I heard on Facebook? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, that's what Greg said. No, <laughs> so we went up, and I hit it, and uh, I hit my five iron, and it went over, it bounced on the hill, went right over, and we're like, like, like that That was pretty close. And I took a Snapchat video, I was like, it was pretty close, we're going to go <laughs> see. And it was pretty funny, but uh, so we went up there, and we didn't see it. We saw Jace's ball, and pulled up and jace walked over to the uh, hole and all of a sudden he starts freaking out and i'm like this dude's playing with me like i, I walk over there and it's in and and it was sweet i didn't get to see it roll in unfortunately but uh-huh. it was really fun it's better when sure. you don't get to see it roll and then yeah. you get to be surprised yeah it was awesome well uh most guys and gals your age are getting ready for their first year of college you know kind of enjoying their last little bit of actually being kids well you've already got a business up and running what can you tell me about johnson auto detailing yeah, so so this winter, uh, my parents went on vacation and just decided to uh, get some of my family members over and clean out their cars for some extra money because I mm-hmm. couldn't get a job for because of basketball. Mm-hmm. So um, this summer, I was I was planning on working at Triple S uh, with those guys. They're great guys over there mowing lawns, and uh, and I just figured like I really enjoy like I don't mind cleaning these cars and and I love the business side of everything and figuring that all out. Mm-hmm. So I just decided this summer I'm going to do that and and that's what I've done at Johnson Auto Detailing and and we're staying pretty busy over there. But uh it's definitely fun like I love learning all about the whole how to set up the business with the mm-hmm. LLC and got to have insurance and every, every little detail like it's it's crazy but it it's a good time for sure. And what was it like when the uh, chamber came over and kind of honored you uh, with your business opening up? How, it, how fun of an experience was that? It was awesome, but it was really, I was really nervous. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect and I had everything on my shoulders. Like I didn't have a partner to, like to talk to like mm-hmm. about it or whatever, but like I had to answer any questions and stuff. I don't know. It was, it was, it was nervous. I was nervous, but it was fun. Is that what it kind of felt real though? When mm-hmm. they came over, that's what it kind of hit you. Like, Oh boy, I got my own business now. Yeah. Like that was when it was like, it's official. Like I cut it, I cut the, uh, ribbon mm-hmm. like with the huge scissors. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was sweet. Good for you. What was, and, uh, what are your other, what else you got going on this summer other than the business? You know, once again, it's, it's a fun summer before you start up school. Definitely. Just, uh, Hanging out with friends. Uh, I'm trying to do as much stuff as I can, honestly. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm always busy. Like, just started going back to the gym again at Snap Fitness, actually. So, oh, for real? Oh, yeah. That worked out perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. You could be their model. Right, exactly. <laughs> but no, so going there and then and then just uh, hanging out with friends and working a couple basketball camps, too, like at the high school and NDSCS also 
had me help over there too. So just always staying busy doing something. Yeah, so. you'd, you'd be an ideal guy to help out these kids. What, what kind of advice do you give these kids and other people who are uh, future Cowboys or future basketball players? I would just say to make sure to work as hard as you can in the off season, so that when the game's about to start, you have no regrets and no worries. And it, it takes time to prepare. It also takes confidence to be successful. And you're going to have confidence if you put the work in. If you don't work hard, you're not going to be confident in yourself or trust yourself. So if you work hard, you'll be able to trust yourself and, and just be able to focus on the game. And then my last piece of advice for you guys would be to take it all in and enjoy it while you can because there's nothing better than going out, walking out onto the court and just seeing everyone supporting you in the crowd. Like There's no better feeling. And, and hanging out with your buddies too, like just on the court, is always a good time. Well, you enjoyed the uh, last bit of summer plans for next year, Jack, or for the fall then. You're going to be uh, in town and school? Yep, I'm going to okay. be at uh, NDSCS here uh, for my business degree. That's what the plan is, possibly mm-hmm. go up to NDSU. We'll see what happens, but, yeah, that's my plan. All right, wishing you the best, Matt, and uh, thank you once again to Snap Fitness for sponsoring the show. Uh, they're open 24-7 if you want to stop in. Their location is 1027 Street, South Wapton. I don't need to tell you, Jack. You know where it is. Um, future Snap Fitness model here. So <laughs> thanks again for joining, and uh, I'll get you guys back to the music after a quick word from our sponsor. Snap Fitness, your locally owned gym in Wapton, wants to have you join their workout family. Snap offers personal training, and owner Renata Fob will even write up workout plans for you. If you're an athlete in the Twin Towns, Snap Fitness will help you make sure you're prepared for the upcoming sports season. To all the retired athletes over 65, Snap Fitness participates in the Silver Sneakers Insurance Program, and most major insurances reimburse for memberships to Snap. Stop by Snap Fitness today and ask about their membership packages. They're located at 102 7th Street South in Wapaton.